Um, how do I deal with a micromanager? <laughs> um, uh, okay, so firstly, I feel like um, whenever someone micromanages you, your reaction is oft often to um, control more of your stuff. So to hold tighter control, which is probably the worst reaction because it's just going to exacerbate their need to um, micromanage you. I feel like firstly, this is, you know, it's very toxic and it's frustrating and it's disempowering and all of those things that don't make a good leader. Um, one, I would probably try to understand as hard as that is where they're coming from. So micromanagers are often coming from a sense of anxiety themselves, which means they want to control everything around them. Um, they might have a low sense of self-worth themselves or um, something they're dealing with. And so they're getting power and safety from um, controlling you in essence. So um, understanding they might not be in the best place themselves is where they're where coming from. Um, and they think the world's going to fall apart, obviously, if they're not over everything, but it is, it is also fucking annoying. So um, that's hard. Um, I feel like it occurs when there's not a relationship of trust and support and often, unfortunately, um, you might be the one that has to build this. So open dialogue, I'd mention how you're feeling, um, build trust and also to do so set boundaries and expectations. So if you can take control, that might help. So be positive, candid, specific, say, cool, I will report back to you by next Thursday. You take control of the management of your um job or, or you, you know whatever they're micromanaging why don't positively take control of it um, and set boundaries yourself so they can't do that for you um, and help them lift up so ask some questions about vision ask some questions about planning ask them questions about their job um, remind them that is their job um, uh, and and kind of force them to think about their job to get out of yours um, is probably what I'd say excellent Martine anything to add? Um, just a couple of things. Uh, just really important not to personalise it. What I find when I'm coaching people in various organisations is some people make it about them and, and interpret it as they're not doing a good job and then they get into this spiral of self-doubt and, and self-criticism. So really important not to personalise it, to realise, as Nikki said, you know, it probably has got more to do with the person being a micromanager than, than the actual job that you're doing. Uh, and to just, as, as Nikki said, establish that trust and just to gently push back and you know, ask some open-ended questions um, at appropriate times around, oh, and how do you see me getting to a point where you don't have to sort of look over this or when do you think it'll get to a point where I'll be able to do this independently? So it's almost like asking a question that gets them to self-reflect on delegating more. 